just gonna say these are little Lincoln testers Wait. so early in a match and never easy going across the map. That was virtually frame ball. He hasn't left anything easy here for John. A lot of pressure on this shot. Excellent shot. Cued it lovely. Now the only difficulty for John here, these two reds will go into this bottom right hand Eight. corner pocket. I think the only difficulty for him winning this frame is that red on the right hand side cushion. Nine. I may try and 50. get on the pink after this red and Try and leave himself a nice little angle to maybe take out that red off the right hand side cushion. We'll just wait and see how he feels. He has the angle here. 16. Now he could take the red off and still be on the red in the left middle. He's just coming around to see. But there is a lovely angle on this pink. It's worth the risk. Oh, he's just missed it. It's a little bit unlucky. Okay, still on this red here, but a bit more difficult. Just wanted a little flick off that red just to bring it into play. Still would have been on the other red. These are not easy. That's a good recovery. A lot of people in the room so disappointed they're missing the cannon because it was a relatively easy cannon for somebody of John's class. But just got down and knocked that in like it was no problem. If anything can go wrong here, he can snooker himself behind the green when he plays for this red in balk. So just got to be a little careful. He doesn't get too much check side on this off the top cushion. Keep an eye on the white ball now to check up. And there it is. Is it going to land? <laughs> it's okay. It's amazing, Ken. You can play that shot and you can get a three quarter ball kiss and snooker yourself, but he played it nicely. Twenty nine. Yes, he had a lovely angle on that red, but he may have just overrun it slightly. I'm not quite sure where he can force an angle on the blue here to try and get behind this red. If not, he'll have to play it. Like he played the previous one with, with the rest. Well, tried to bounce behind it, and I think he's cut it too much. And that's the end of the break. <coughs> Unless he plays the double. 34. The double is on, but very, very dangerous. Yeah, the slow double is not too bad, actually, because he can play around the back of the black. And with the red being where it is near the cue ball, he's just looking now if he plays around it. Even if the red stopped right on the pocket, he could almost cover it with the other red. I think there's a bit of value in this double. Not usually you'd say that about a double. You look at the pace he played it. Look at the pace. Isn't it just amazing how you see shots that are value, you see shots that are not value, hit his way, look all the, all the problems there, and realise his value. And it almost a shot to nothing, look where the cue balls finish. First 42 points have been hard work. It's getting even harder now. You can see the grimace 42. on his face there. Overscrewed that by some 18 inches. And this is a frame winner or a frame loser in one shot. Yes, and the fact that it's into a blind pocket, he's going to refuse it into this bottom left-hand corner. He's going to play it as a shot to nothing. Into the bottom right with the brown over the green pocket. It's there. Great shot. Fantastic shot. 43. 
just look at the cue ball had he had missed it. And this would be a brilliant clearance from Higgins. Well, you talk about sentries being great breaks. This break has been as good as any sentry you're going to see. This has been a fabulous break. 47. He's now obviously strong favourite to win it, and uh, how he's cleared up from here, oh, goodness only knows. 49. Well, it started off a little bit slow in the first round, Willie, but it certainly has revved up since then. Good break from Ding in the first. And this has been top quality in second. Never at any stage did it look like a possible clearance, though, Ken, did it? At this, until the last couple of minutes. Well, if we thought he was asleep in the first frame, he's certainly woken up in the second. Well, for me, this has been one of the best breaks of the tournament. I know it's only a possible 74. He won't even bother probably trying to get on the black. He'll just knock the pink in, so the break's going to come to an end at 67. But that 67 for me was as good as any central break we've seen in this tournament so far. Higgins, as you notice there, as he's walking out, was complaining about the white, the light. I think they're going to get that done during this little mini break.